just be aware that in normal nodes can be quite small. But it really varies based upon breed. And it doesn't always vary based upon the size of the dog. For instance, Scottish Terriers, smaller dog, especially for you greyhound owners, typically have fairly large lymph nodes for their size. And so knowing your dog's breed as well as what normal feels like is incredibly important. And so, um, you know, feeling your dog's lymph nodes um, daily and knowing what your dog's normal lymph node, not even what normal dog lymph node, but what your individual dog's nodes feel like is really important and, and um, very valuable. Um, again, another pictograph, but with uh, some um, picture overlaid, where the lymph nodes are in a normal dog. And the mandibular nodes are probably the easiest to feel, although the salivary glands are all right there, right at the angle of the jaw. So right where your uh, mandible goes from your horizontal to the vertical. And when we have swollen glands, those are, that's what we're feeling. Um, so our tonsils are also lymph nodes. Um, obviously, you can see those if you open your dog's mouth, but uh, you can't feel them. So the <clears throat> lymph nodes, um, mandibular, the ones behind your dog's stifle or knee are the um, popliteal or popliteal lymph nodes. Those are also sometimes easy to palpate. And in general, not always the case, but in general in dogs with lymphoma, the lymph nodes in the front part of the body typically get enlarged faster and earlier than the lymph nodes in the caudal half of the body. And I don't know the reason why yet. Um, and here's a picture of a dog with a very severe case of lymphoma. As you can see, um, there are um, lymph nodes um, right here. Those are large lymph nodes. Okay? right at the, underneath the jaw um, and right um, in front of the shoulder. There's a boxer with a doctor grabbing those in large lymph nodes and you can see how large they can get and how large they can get incredibly rapid, okay, with lymphoma, okay? And here's a dachshund, also very large lymph nodes. Okay. So again, abnormal lymph nodes as opposed to normal are large. They're firm, they're fixed, and they're irregular. Okay. So that's talking mostly about lymphoma and what you guys can be doing to detect um, lymph node size, shape, and quality at home. But remember, it's not just about lymphoma that you're feeling the lymph node, but it's also for any cancer that has spread or can spread to a lymph node. Again, you know, bringing it back to what you guys know about people, you know, for like breast cancer. Lymph node involvement is an incredibly important prognostic variable in women. Similarly, lymph node involvement with many types of cancers in dogs is incredibly prognostic and something that you can kind of feel for at home.